most impactful things we see from Cyclone Idai was the landslides that occurred in Chimanimani and Chipinge districts. So UNESCO, as part of the Zimbabwe Idai Recovery Project, uh, funded by um, the World Bank as well as UNOPS, is working with communities to identify potential solutions. So that's why we bring in also a set of experts from the University of Zimbabwe, from the Catholic University of Leuven in Belgium, as well as a set of students also to look into the drivers of these landslides and to identify potential pathways for making sure that the communities are better protected against these uh, extreme events. The project is trying to do a multi-focus approach to this issue of disasters and it tries to look at several elements. So this element is looking at landslides, we're trying to understand the reasons why they are happening. But we're also looking at floods and to see if we can also identify pathways to reduce the risk of floods. Uh, as well as climate change and seeing how climate change might make things even worse. So trying also to bring all that knowledge together and make a puzzle of all the issues that need to be solved. So one of the outcomes of this project will also be that we're able to identify potential moments when these landslides can occur. So we're trying to look for forecasting, for early warning, to make sure that the communities can be warned upfront if these kind of conditions occur uh, in the future.